Stephen Merck decided to persist and, with the help of Philip Hinch, find an application for Corton. Philip Hinch was born in 1896 in Pittsburgh. He came to the Mayo Clinic in 1921 and, in 1928, founded and became head of the first department of rheumatic diseases at the Mayo Clinic. He was described as being gregarious. He was a Sherlock Holmes aficionado, and one of his friends described him as a very hyperkinetic fellow. We used to say he moved a lot of air. Employing Holmesian logic, he reasoned that the body must produce an anti-inflammation chemical, which he called factor X, because patients with rheumatoid arthritis, when they became jaundiced with liver failure, seemed to get better. He thought it must be something the liver makes. In 1941, Hench met with Kendall to discuss biochemistry, and they reasoned that perhaps Factor X could be substance E, and if they got enough substance E, they could test it in rheumatoid arthritis. So the very first patient then to receive cortin or compound E for rheumatoid arthritis, Mrs. G, received her first injection on September 21st, 1948 by this team. By three days later, it was apparent that something quite extraordinary was happening. Into the chart, they wrote, we found her exercising, raising her hands over her head, which was previously impossible. She visited several patients to demonstrate her changed condition. Rumors of a breakthrough in arthritis were beginning to circulate nationally, and it was time to go public. A film record had been made of each of the first 14 patients before and after receiving compound E. When he saw the videos, Hugh Butt, one of the senior physicians at the Mayo Clinic, said it was like God had touched them. The after seven months of trials, the team felt it was time to release their results. A presentation was unobtrusively announced in the Mayo Clinic Bulletin.